Alrighty guys, Gunshot here with another video, and today we have the official Creature Submission 2023 finalist. And it is the giant, well it's the Sky Giga Intuso slash Flyer Water Mount, Water War Mount. The Rhinagontha, Rhinagontha, I'm going to just call it that, Rhinagontha, Rhinagontha, I'm pretty sure. But basically, this thing is supposed to be absolute all-terrain. That means it goes land, water, and sea. Okay? So it's going to be, uh, well, I guess not really like a blood stalker, but similar, you know? Similar in the aspect that you ride it, and it can go in the water, well... Yeah, you can ride it, quote unquote. I yeah, I don't have my things yet for the to do facial stuff or whatever. But yeah, um, but like you know, you can go in the water. You'll get a boost and all that. But if we scroll down more, we got the biological design here, where it seems to be based on almost a bunch of different creatures. So it has several body segments, like a myropede, millipede, or myropede, and six legs and wings, like an insect. Um, then it's also got, was it, def was it defensive wings or was it owl eyes on their wings, whatever they have owl eyes on their wings for defense. Then they, was it, and then their lower body secretes this amber glowing like substance, you know, like how, how it like, was it like the mosquito in Jurassic Park is how I imagine that amber amber would be cuz like it's got that right there and that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking it is is like yo we got Jurassic Park up in this all right and then we got some skills here such as it's going to be a heavy carrier where it's going to be able to carry two creatures or one massive one oh well was it it's going to be able to carry two creatures on its sides or one massive creature or one underwater creature so it's also going to have so then it's also going to have a defensive thing with its wings that you can use underwater and then when it's underwater it mimics a tuso as it swims also thanks to its saw jaws i am expecting a kind of a bleed effect it will also naturally produce that resin and it has a sick saddle that's kind of like a nice Harley motorcycle. So you're going to be laid back on it. Alrighty. So this thing might seem a little overpowered right now. So it has two weaknesses. All right. So the first one is flamethrower. It's going to hate fire. All right. You're going to torch this bug. So a flamethrower is enough, he says. But a magmasaur and a wyvern are overkill on this creature. So... One of the ways that you can tame this is basically it's like the Reaper. So you have to get injected and he even gave us a nice list of the what the percentages of what you will have on your creatures. And then it's also got the Taming 2.0, which would be basically the breeding of these creatures. So again, they can lay normal eggs. Or well, hold up. I might got this wrong. Never mind. I just read through this wrong. So that's the old one. This is the updated version of the breeding. So level 5 human. 5% level 100 human. 100%. So it's based off the level of your character as well. Of like the impregnation rate for taming. Then raptors. 20% aloe. 50. Rex 100. Spino 100. Tuso's 100. Ooh. And he even says the babies will eat honey, amber grease, or resin. And then the adults can also eat meat. But here we go down. Let's go down to the breeding 2.0 because that's going to be the correct one. Alrighty. So the way mating works is, again, kind of exactly the same way as the taming. But you have to have a male around. All right. So it's going to impregnate these into your creatures or your tribe mates or you or whatever to breed. So, yeah, that's going to be the Rinagatha. 
the new ARC 2023 creature, which is going to be coming out later this year. Yeah.